Hello ladies, today I'm going to share with you 10 keys to unlock your potential and to create your mindset to have a successful online business. My name is Cindy, I'm a web strategist and I'm helping lady bosses elevating their web strategy. Welcome back to one more video. If you are new here and you like to talk about online business, how to create it, how to succeed with it, how to attract clients through your website, then you are in the right place. Please subscribe and hit the bell button so you will not miss any of my videos talking about all this online business world. So. Today I wanted to give a more motivational speech, a little bit unprepared. I want to talk about mindset because honestly, mindset is the key. It's the first step that we have to do to unlock our potential on online business. Actually, without our mindset, we can't be the perfect person to do business, any kind of business, but I'm going to talk more about online business. So the first key to unlock your potential and set your mind is vision is your North Star. So what that means, means that to start any um, adventure on online business, you need to set up a vision. You need to have a clear vision of what you want to do, where you want to be, uh, where you want to go with your business, what the business represents to you, to your family, to your life, what this business will contribute to make you a better person and to make you live a better life. Only with that vision you will be able to accomplish things because you will always have that goal that you need to follow and that is what going to motivate to never give up so the second key is to embrace innovation yes don't stay in the whole days don't do like we used to do 10 years ago. Embrace innovation, embrace technology, embrace modernity. Go ahead and be along with all the new things that are going on in this world when it comes to uh, the online business and technologies. Because only like that you can stand out. Technology is here to help us and innovation is what made people, humans, be where we are today and accomplish many great things for this world. So don't stay in the past, don't do things how we used to do before they will not work anymore if you want to succeed with your online business don't be afraid to embrace new technologies and new adventure if you need help there are always plenty of help everywhere so just do it so the third key to unlock potential and set your mind for online business is accepting that failure it's a step stop failure it's not the end many people just stop at the first complication they have the first problem they have the first failure they have and they unmotivated and then it's all oh, the end of the world and oh my god what happened to me why i did that i will never succeed like that failure not embracing failure will make you fail even more actually if you say okay i failed this time but i learned that i acquired that now i know that now i know that i can do that and i know that i have to do that i know exactly where i have to go to go ahead 
So failure is a step stone to success. You have to fail to learn. And with what you learn, then you can go ahead, then you can succeed. So don't stop in your first failure. Failure is part of any entrepreneur journey, it's part of any business journey, even online business. It's okay to fail and it's okay to do bad things. We will learn with that and we will go ahead. Just put that in your mind. And the fourth key is learning continuously. Yes, we can't just learn something and then just stick to it forever and we don't uh, update our knowledge knowledge is everything you have to succeed with knowledge you can do plenty of things and when i say learn continuously and get knowledge continuously i say in every field don't only care about what you do and what you are good at it because you are already good at it you already know so you already learn about it more than what you learn from other things but in fact this world is not only black and white there are shades and there are colors so you need to understand a maximum things about it so you can adapt and adjust to your particular business field. So for example, if I do web, but I want to sell, I want to learn um, how to do, I don't know, marketing, or I want to learn how to do social media, and I want to know how it works uh, when we invest, because investing is maybe a part of my business journey later. Um, so I will be interested in all this kind of knowledge and I will learn about it. I will be interested about it because it will make me grow as a person. It will grow my knowledge and with that, I will be able to accomplish better things, more smart things and with another vision that will help me succeed. So knowledge, it's the most uh, asset you have to make your business succeed. So learn continuously, get that knowledge. And the fifth key is to set goals and break them down. What that means, uh, we can't have an online business without setting goals. Why? Because we can't accomplish everything at the same time. We need to do milestones, like step by step, little by little. So we have to set the goals. For example, my first year, I want to accomplish, I don't know, uh, 100 sales with my business. Okay, that is my first milestone. Then I will break it in, in I don't know, three times. So in the first quarter, four times. In the first quarter, I will get maybe 30 clients. And then the second quarter, I will take 20 clients. And then the th third quarter, I will get, uh, I don't know, other 20 clients. And we are already in 40 plus uh, 30. <laughs> I'm very bad at math. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you just break them down, your first big goal, you break them down so it's more easy for you to accomplish it. So it's better to have milestones to accomplish than see the bigger picture. Because when we try to see the bigger picture, then we will be overwhelmed. We will say like, oh my god, it's, yes, I want... 100,000 clients on my business. But it's too much? How am I going to do that? Like, I see my first month, nothing. My second month, nothing. My third month, okay, two, three clients. When I will reach the 100,000? Oh my God, in how many years? Yes, it will take time, that's for sure. So don't look at the bigger picture. Look at small steps that you can accomplish accomplish those milestones and you will see that more you give goals to yourself more you will be motivated to be better and also something that is really 
good is that when you accomplish the first goal, then you say, wow, I did it. I did my first goal. So I'm ready to go and move on to my second goal because the first one succeed. So I'm sure now I can do the second one. And we'll be always focused in accomplish goals until you will reach, reach the ultimate goal that you want. 100,000 clients, for example. And the sixth key is to embrace power of persistence. Yes, success doesn't come overnight. Never. It never happens. It requires a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of persistence, a lot of uh, motivation. Uh, you need to work for it. You need to go for it. It will be hard. You will have uh, face problems, difficulties, uh, you know, walls in your way. So don't feel unmotivated or don't stop at your first problem. It's a little like failure but it's not complete failure it means like you are seeing it growing very slowly and you will be like oh my god yes it's taking so much time to grow uh, it will never i will not never make it i will never succeed with this business how slow it is no just stop thinking that it will fail stop thinking and be persistent do better. If it's not working, then find solutions. If it's not working, then go to people who can help you and they will guide you maybe. Sometimes we just need people mind -like, minded like to help us doing something and moving forward. Don't stay alone in this entrepreneurial uh, journey and in an online business is the same don't stay alone surround yourself with people that can also help you so you don't unmotivate from your goals and when you feel that you are in a low uh, moment a little bit feeling down and you want like to give up so uh, you are unmotivated you can always think about what brought you in the first place to where you are now what were your vision remember the first key vision think about your vision and say if i want that to be accomplished then i need to be persistent things doesn't happen overnight you need to stick to it be consistent and the seventh key is to get a customer centric approach what that means it means like the customer is the king right it's your lifeblood of your business so you need to take care of your customer build genuine relationships with your customer and your collaborators give value as much as you can provide them the best service experience you can give to them and genuinely work for them because people feel the feelings when you are genuine and when you really show your feelings about what you're doing for your client you are solving a problem you are helping him you are contributing to his happiness you are actually making his life better so for that be genuine when you work for them and give your all 100 percent effort to make them happy like that your business will thrive and the eight key is to surround yourself with supportive network we already talked a little bit about it the business journey can be very lonely you will feel lonely because you are making so much effort and putting so much time into your business that you uh, rarely have time to build relationships with other people uh, have friends or go out so it can be pretty lonely sometimes and to not feel lonely when you are going through this online business journey then you have to surround yourself with like-minded people 
that will also help you uh, in your journey. It can be mentors, it can be partners, it can be colleagues or collaborations, uh, just or maybe people who are in the same field than you going through the same things and then maybe you can like go out together and share some insights um, but yes try to network try to find networking groups somewhere where you can be part of it during your journey it will help you to not feel alone what i do it's like going to facebook groups and uh see where people entrepreneur groups uh in facebook often they uh create events so entrepreneurs from every field can just gather together and share networking share insights talk about what they do uh, exchange contacts so it's really really a nice way then you have others uh, apps like for example meetup it's a good app to uh, find entrepreneur events networking events where you can uh, just um, go out with people that are in the same uh, position than you but in any case surround yourself with people that doesn't understand what you do are not like for example don't go out with a person that is working uh, for someone else in an eight hours job they will never understand what an entrepreneur is going through uh, they will never understand the efforts you are making so you really need to uh, go out with people that are in the same position same level than you so you can have a real conversation about it and have um, uh, good insights about it ideas uh, create something together maybe collaborations collaborations I like this word it helps a lot honestly so yes surround yourself with like-minded people and you will not feel alone and the ninth key is to master your time yes the time is your most valuable tool you have you have to spend it wisely so scheduling is the key and prioritizing tasks is the key manage your time effectively it's the key if you don't manage your time you will not be able to do everything you have to do when we start an online business we often start alone so we need to do everything alone it will be a uh, managing the social media uh, administration the contents your own service deliver the service you will be doing everything in the first time then when you will get the possibility to hire and to um, give the work to other people then good but in a first time you really need to manage your time so you can do everything and when you manage your time it will impact your online business success because when we use wisely the time then we can accomplish so many things in so less time that will make you go forward and finally the tenth key is believe in yourself actually it's the last one but i guess the most important right like believing in yourself believe that you are able to do this online business believe that you are able to accomplish great things and believe that you are powerful enough to make it happen if you believe in yourself you put that in your mind you will never give up never because you know you will be able it can like be a hard way it will have a lot of problems issues complications in your way and you will feel lonely and you will fail maybe sometimes then you will accomplish milestones and you will accomplish goals and eventually because you never gave up because you believe in yourself then it will happen 
the efforts always pays back and believing in yourself it's the first thing you have to set up in your mind like the most important not the first but the most important thing to set up in your mind because if you don't believe yourself you will never be able to accomplish things you will always be afraid you will always doubt you and when we have fears when we have doubts then it's like walls that that we create ourselves as we kind of jeopardize our own journey by having these fears and having these limited beliefs those bad thoughts and uh, not believing in yourself will just slow you down so stop thinking about what could go wrong if it goes wrong what will happen oh my god no 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 just believe in yourself and go forward with your business do your best and i'm sure everything will be perfectly okay and so this is the end of our video for today i hope this video gave you so much motivation to keep going uh, with your business or even to uh, start your dream online business you know i'm here to help so you can dm any uh, moment on my instagram asking for advices i will be glad to help and answer all your questions i also have a program the elites uh, program that uh, helps lady bosses to create their uh, online business with a strategy that will actually work and attract clients so if you want to start your online business journey i have that mentoring in my website that you can go and check i leave you the link in the description uh, and uh, if you are interested in stepping in this uh, great adventure then feel free to uh, sign up for my mentorship and I will be glad to have you on board and help you uh, accomplish this dream. It's all that I want. It's help lady bosses succeed with their online business. So thank you so much for sticking until the end and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, if you are new here and like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give a like and activate the notifications by clicking the bell button to not miss any juicy web strategy tips I'll be serving up.